Hi guys, this is Ellie. You are watching Ferns on the Porch and I'm switching gears a little bit. Um, to be honest, I tried to record a message for you guys earlier today and I did it, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 different times and erased and hated every single one and ended up in tears and frustrated and annoyed. So honestly, I'm switching gears and I'm sitting in my kitchen and I'm drinking a cup of coffee and you can see my dirty dishes in the back and we will just keep it real for a minute, okay? So I have a message for you that I had to remind myself of uh, earlier today, shortly, just hours ago. <laughs> and it's a picture that I had, um, I don't know, I've had it for a while. I'm a really visual learner, I've told you this before. Um, but the way I understand our thoughts. Now, a lot of people struggle with maybe dark thoughts, negative thoughts about themselves, about just worry about things. Um, the way I understand thoughts is like birds on a fence. Like I said, I'm visual. You can't choose what birds show up. Birds will just come and they'll just land. They'll just hang out there. Those are our thoughts. You'll have thoughts that just pop into your brain. Where did that come from? I don't know. A doubt from like way back or a negative thought about somebody or about myself or how am I failing as a mother or there, toilet flushing, keeping it real people. Um, but all kinds of do doubts and, and dark thoughts can, can pop in or good thoughts, you know, silly thoughts, um, thoughts that maybe get you off track. Um, but thoughts just kind of show up. We don't have control over what thoughts show up. The way I understand thoughts though, is the birds that you feed are the ones that are gonna stick around, okay? So if I have a thought that's negative, that shows up, a bird that shows up on my fence that I don't want to stay, I tell it to get lost. I clap my hands, I say, shoo, you know? Um, those are the negative thoughts, um, thoughts from the enemy that just kind of pop into our brain. Um, that's not my fault. I don't choose to think bad things about myself, about other people, um, dark, worrying, you know, angry thoughts about people. Those are not from God, obviously. Um, those are bad, and we want those to go away. So sometimes you kind of have to get mad at them, and you have to say, get lost. That's a lie. That is the enemy attacking me. I don't accept that. That's not from God. That's not who God says I am. Um, so we have to kind of get mad at those birds sometimes that just kind of show up and get pesky and, you know, poop on things and, and try to hang around. We have to shoo them away. Get out of here. So I would just encourage you today, if you're having thoughts that are trying to come back, things that recur. I used, I used to worry a lot. I would get stuck in worry and dwell on things. Those aren't feelings and thoughts that God wants you to have. That's not the truth about you and who you are. So you have the right to tell those thoughts to get lost. You don't get to stay. You don't get to occupy space in my brain where I am claiming only good and wonderful and pleasant things. Um, that doesn't mean that we live in like this Lala world, but you know what? Your brain is a precious thing and um, God wants you to dwell on his goodness and the things that you could be and do and conquer in the world. So dwelling on things that are dark and negative about yourself are just plain not helpful. So hopefully that's encouraging for you today as it was for me because I needed that today. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, share, and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks. Have a great day.